Hello. Today we're going to talk about op op integrators. Basically, what it does, it takes. Uh, let's say we we have a, a DC input, and it transform transforms it in, into a uh, a ramp, a voltage ramp. So. For example, this time, this is a one volt DC on the input. You're going to end up with something uh, we're going to look at inverting op amp, so it's going to go negative, so it's going to go like this. And then it's going to hit saturation. So if you let's say if the if the supply is 12 volt, maybe it's going to reach minus 10, whatever. But this is the idea. The input is a, a DC DC voltage, and you end up with a ramp. Of course, the input could be like a pulse, and then you end up with possibly a triangular wave, as long as you don't hit saturation. So the pulse must be relatively short okay so let's let's see uh, what it's all about and I'm gonna try to be uh, I'm not gonna put equations you can you can figure it out very easily with equations involving time or that ramp what's the equation for what the equation for the ramp voltage is but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna explain uh, like uh, qualitatively if you will Okay, so let's look at the uh, uh, circuit. So I'm I'm going to use a uh, inverting inverting op amp, but you could do uh, non-inverting. But yeah, just going to use that. So that's my op amp minus on the top plus at the bottom. So that's my V in here. So V in. And let's say it's one volt to make it simpler. This is my input resistance, so Ri. Uh, let's say it's one ohm. Okay, then. So that's my non-inverting, which I'm going to ground. This is the output, so this is V out. Of course, I need. Another reference point, so that's going to be the ground here. That's my V out. And the integ uh, a regular op pump is used as an amplifier would have like a resistor here on the feedback. But since we are doing integrators, instead of putting a resistor, you put a capacitor in the feedback loop like this so this is the c feedback so what's important to notice right away is that here at the non-inverting we have zero volt what does that mean at the other uh, input here so this is the inverting one this one has to also be at zero volt so this is this concept of virtual ground when, because this one is connected to ground. So this is a virtual ground. And this is all due to the fact that the op amp has a very, very large input impedance. So basically there's no current. There's no current going in here. Which means that the current is always uh, here. It doesn't go in there. So the current is basically going through the resistor and the capacitor. There's nothing going inside the op amp, okay? So uh, here we can compute we can compute the uh, the current, the intensity, and uh, use Ohm's law. This current going goes from one volt to zero volt through a Ri, so I equal to V in over Ri. So in our case, one amp, which is a bit much. So, so this is the current going through that Ri. 
but this current, as we just said, doesn't go into the ramp. So everything that current, the current through Ri is equal to the current through the capacitor. So it's the same current. And I think it's important to 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 not to note that uh, basically that op amp is a is basically a current a constant current source. And it it is a constant current source no matter no matter what you put in that feedback loop. You can put a capacitor, you can put a resistor, it's still going to be a constant uh, current because the current only depends on V in and Ri, okay? Because this has to be zero volt. So the current going through Ri and the, that uh, feedback loop only depends on the V in and Ri. That's pretty cool. It means that the op amp is actually a constant current source. Let me try to explain what happens when the capacitor charges. So let's say that uh, initially the capacitor was completely discharged. Then you put that uh, one volt in the input, a DC, DC uh, voltage of one volt. What happens? The capacitor is going to start to charge, right? But what happens when the capacitor charges? It's, it's acting like a battery going, it's acting like a battery that's, oppo that's opposing, that's opposing that V in. So basically the, the result of uh, the capacitor charging is that the current should, should go down. So as, as C charges, I, Would go down, right? But here we have a we have an op amp, and we have just established that the i i is constant. So what's supposed to happen here? What's what's the only way you can maintain that that current? Well, the only way you can maintain that current is that if this this voltage which is vc vc has to go up and uh, i don't know if you can see that but v out v out is equal to minus vc so vc is between zero and the, this point here which we call the well i'm gonna call it the uh, oh. So VC is between zero, or oh no, not O. Let's call it out. VC is between zero and out, and V out is between out and zero. So you can see that V out is equal to minus VC. So it means that the op amp is gonna make its output go down. Okay, so this is what you see on that uh, on that graph basically you have the one volt at the input and what's gonna happen is that the uh, so this is v out uh, v out is gonna keep going down to make sure that the uh, the current stays constant which is the same thing as saying that to make sure that the uh, inverting input and the non-inverting input stay at the same potential. So that's the whole idea. I don't want to beat on a dead horse too much, but uh, but the op amp the op amp does things at the output so that. Uh, the current through Ri and C remains constant. It always has to basically increase Vc so that the current stays constant. And increasing Vc means de decreasing V out. So that's the idea. And uh, this is going all the time. So 
at uh, one second, two seconds, three seconds. So, and that's why it's like, uh, so it's a continuous, continuous thing. It's a continuous battle. And you end up with a linear, linear ramp here. So the voltage goes down in a linear, linear fashion. Okay, so uh, let me go back to why, why it's called an integ integrator. If you look at this, at this uh, thing here, so here you have a constant value as a function of time, and the integrator gives you this thing, the ramp. Well, if you've done a little bit of math, you know that if you integrate a uh, constant value, you end up with a linear function. So if you have, for instance, uh, y is equal to 1, you integrate that, you end up with... Uh, so the integral would be 1 times x or t plus some constant, which is exactly what this what this curve is it's basically minus something times t plus in this in this case zero for the constant but that's what that's basically what integration means uh, and maybe you're more, more familiar with the derivation so if you have a function that looks like uh, this the derivative is going to be that one constant so from linear you go to constant so that's the opposite so what do you use that that thing for exactly? I mean, um, I mean you can use it, for instance, uh, if you have a sensor that uh, that uh, record record uh, acceleration. You can do one integration to get the velocity, and you can do another integration to get the uh, displacement. So that's all analog stuff this is like uh, probably was done before the time of uh, digital but in the old days i guess that, i guess that's that's how they they got displacements from uh, sensors uh, another use is uh, for a function generator if you have a pulse a pulse or a square wave you can transform it transform it into a triangular wave and I think there's another use, which is uh, like uh, filters, like a low pass filter or averaging. You can average voltages with an integrator. I must admit, I don't fully understand how it works, so I'm not going to go into the details of it. I would have to look it up, but it's it can definitely be used as a, as a filter. And uh, usually you can add in parallel to the capacitor, a large value resistor here. I mean, integrators often often have a resistor in there, which has to be very high. Otherwise, if it's too low, you end up with a regular op amp. Use as an amplifier, not an integrator. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here. And if you like this video, please uh, like comment and subscribe and uh, I will make more. Oh, see you on. Bye.